In this video we're going to talk how you have to name your reports so they get them to appear in the correct area here. So if I go to my summary here you can see I've got two options. I've got work instructions and PFMEA. Now if I go to my PFMEA you'll see there's only one form listed, PFMEA form. If I go to my work instructions you can see I've got a whole bunch of forms listed in here. The way that you tell it whether to be listed as a work instruction or as a PFMEA option is how you name it. If you include FEMA in your description, standing for Failure Mode Effects and Analysis, it will appear in the in the PFEMA list. So, in other words, if if you come over here, you go to your File, you go to your Options, you're going to go to your Settings, and here we've got our Work Instruction Configuration area here, and I can open them, and you see they're all listed here, including the PFMEA form here. So they're all in one bucket here. So the trick here is to name it so that you have FMEA anywhere in your description and it will appear in there. So right now if I come out, just to emphasize what we're doing, and I go to my summary, I go to my PFEMA, I've only got one form listed. And that's because FMEA is included in the description. So if I come back over here, I go to File, Options, Settings, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit one. And I'm going to pick this one here. Right, and I'm going to open this up here and it's going to ask me to name it again. I'm just going to remove the spaces between these. Okay, so that's it's now got FEMEA in the description. So I do that and you can see it's there, it's now correctly named. And now if I cancel out of this, I click on my OK here and I back out. And now if I go to my PFMEA, you can see I've got the two options listed in here. So anywhere in your description include FMEA and it will include it in the PFMEA listings. If it doesn't have that it will appear in the work instruction area. So that's how you have to name your, um, your forms to get them to appear in the appropriate area here.